what's up it's eric got the traxxas uh, xrt back out again uh, this time we got another awesome m2c upgrade xr series upgrade i'm gonna go straight to showing you check this out beautiful m2c racing 7075 bash bar to a tie in all three parts of this chassis to stop any kind of breaking or cracking of the chassis uh, the last video i did end up breaking the back of the chassis back here pretty bad um, i didn't notice until i started cleaning all the mud off the truck uh, but this right here should definitely help uh, hold everything together you got this nice skid plate up here in the front to really protect that front end and just lock everything down so i'm gonna give this thing a, a pretty hard time uh, first i'm gonna get out and just do some cruising around out in this new construction site again i'm still running these beautiful m2c racing uh, uh sure like lugs right here those just look really cool i'm gonna try these uh duratrack six pack x's on here this time i was running the uh, proline master x tires for a long time but just to try something a little bit different you know these are belted uh, i know the glue beads like to come off on these and the rims like to crack and stuff like that <laughs> but we're just gonna give it a try anyway just for something a little bit different all right guys let's give her a quick run see what's up Can't see it for all the time. notice my wing kind of flopping down my wing mount is broke i had it kind of sitting up there with some zip ties but so it's just kind of flopping until i get my new wing mount in oh it snagged that <laughs> lip right there Right, guys we got to climb this hill right here i've already been up and down it three times <laughs> good exercise Let's see if she'll make it uh, she's out running me slow down girl uh, all right we made it to the top <laughs> Looks like I've already got a tire unglued, so let's go put on the uh, Master X's. Got a rip right there too, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this thing is so much more nimble with the Proline Mesher X's. Oh! Oh! Almost on those rocks. That would have been a killer uh, chassis brace test. Come on, girl. Oh, God. Guys, that was rough. 
All right, guys, that jump right there did end up cracking the chassis. I'm not sure what happened. I did like a triple or quadruple backflip, and it landed, which I thought it landed flat, maybe on a big dirt clod or uneven ground. I'll have to check the footage in slow motion to see exactly what happened. The truck was so far out of my sight down there, I couldn't hardly even see it to land it anyway. So, again, it's just really sketchy jumps. Um, but, again, super test on this uh, chassis brace and chassis. Yeah, it cracked right there, but it also held the truck together. That sucker would have just completely broken half down there. So this thing is uh, still still in one piece, sort of, so I can still drive it. Uh, that's what this chassis brace is for. Boom. <laughs> I think that unplugged it. But let's see if that chassis still held together by that M2C brace. Look at that, still together. That massive vertical uh, landing, flat landing down here. This uh, brace still held that chassis together, even though it's completely cracked. And she's driving back up the hill. Oh, that was, that was the ultimate chassis brace test. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Ouch. That's all I can say about that. Game over. All right, guys, here's the aftermath. That was a catastrophic wreck. It was totally my fault. Uh, no fault of the truck, no fault of anything M2C. I'm going to take complete blame for it, although there was a couple of issues with the truck that caused it. But I decided to go for the jump anyway instead of aborting. So to explain what happened is uh, my steering was already kind of acting up. The servo in this truck is getting really weak. I mean, it's the original servo that's been in the truck since day one. And also the body flew off. And when the body flew off, I lost my line. And I should have just aborted the mission. And I, hit, I tried to hit the ramp anyway, and it, it was already off course. So that's the part that was my fault. But anyway, here's the aftermath. Kind of give you a close up. Got a break there. Of course, the chassis is completely snapped in half. Got a busted uh, bulkheads, diff case, uh, all the hinge pins, busted arm right there. ESC busted off the plate right there. Uh, it messed up one of my batteries, which I've got it, which I threw it away. Yeah, this piece right here is completely uh, snapped off. <laughs> oh, that was a rough hit. You can see where it just completely yanked my battery out right there. Let's see if we can spin this around. <laughs> it's a wonder the diff is still in there. I see some gears. That's a good thing. The cool thing is everything M2C uh, survived on the truck. You know, you got the motor mount, held that motor right where it needed to be. The M2C HDP bell crank is still in one piece, although I am missing part of the actual bell crank right there. It shot off somewhere. I couldn't find it. Like I said, there's so many things that it just uh, just shot off in midair and went into space. <laughs> that was such a brutal hit. So we're gonna we're gonna tear it down. We're gonna see what's salvageable, and we'll get it rebuilt. You know, it may take some time to uh, do it. I mean, you know, technically, I probably should just get a whole new truck and just use what's good for spares. Um, but you know, I'm gonna try to tear it down and uh, and just go from there as uh, parts become available. So uh, I think the diffs are okay, other than a complete snapped uh diff case right there <laughs> i think the back is all right a lot of stuff in the back is okay still other than a, another broken wing mount but again you know when you play hard that's just what happens so it's no big worry to me we're gonna put this sucker back together i still had fun we got some good testing in and uh we'll have her out again soon all right guys until next time rc duty one peace out